Now on YouTube, I am the Tough Man, and welcome back to my Grimsby Borough playthrough. We're on part 48 now. That's an insane amount of parts. Uh, we're in season three, and we are second in the league. We're not doing too bad at all. South Shields is right on our ass crack. Uh, we do have a couple of games in hand, though. The next game we've got is on Saturday here. I have rested the players for today. Um, for anybody wondering how to get... Um, custom databases, there is a video tutorial on my channel some people have had problems with it but most people you know as you know all of the, all the people that have been watching it most of them have um, have got it working perfectly alright so I have no idea with the, with the small amount of people who are having problems at the minute but anyway guys um, just go and search in my videos for uh, how to install custom database and it will come up but today we've got Skelmersdale to uh, to face, and today, of course, is Saturday, which means you guys get to tell me what type of team that you want to see in the next match. Um, there wasn't that many comments last time, so please keep them coming. Keep them. I want to, you know, involve you guys as much as I can in uh, in what I do. Um, a lot of people saying that uh, I do need another striker. It is quite obvious, you know, I do need another striker. Whether or not to loan a striker. Um, I don't really know about that because I'm, a, I'm in a league where it's a bit funny about uh, stuff that's, that's, that's going on. Um, it doesn't quite know whether good people are good people and bad people are bad people. You know what I mean? They're all pretty much round about the same. Um, the only thing to do, really is to maybe try and search, I don't know, Boston. Because I know Boston are a league above me, Boston United that is. Um, they're a league, uh, a league above me and maybe they've got maybe a striker just kicking around doing nothing that uh, they would like me to take on. Just as on loan I suppose, but I don't know. I don't know, maybe I should have a look into that. Maybe I should have a look into learning a striker, maybe. As a striker, um, I need to add contract status, which is not... Oh, no, I don't. What am I doing? I need to... Oh, mind you. Contract status expired. Some good players on here, apparently, but uh, these could be, you know, what do you call them? Um, like potential of five star rather than actual five star. Yeah, look, you see, two and a half star. Um, worse than Helio Andre and Thompson, and they're doing shit at the minute. So let's have a look to see if we can actually find ourselves a loan E. Um, transfer status. Contract status. No, I want to. Uh, where is it? Am I just not looking properly? Oh, hang on, there it is. I just not gone down the list properly. Transfer status listed for loan striker. Um, oh, and again, you see, we've not Kidderminster, Luke Medley. No, not good. You see what I mean? We're at one of these stages where nobody seems to be better than anybody else. Let's have a look here. See if we can. Lincoln, Danny Moran. Lincoln are a pretty good side compared to us. Um, oh my God. Get us get a, uh, get a scout report. Get a report. No, yeah, let's get a scout report. On Danny Moran. Oh, Moran. Nigel McKenzie plays for Nantwich. I'm just looking at who these guys actually play for. Kettering. Oliver Jones. Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. Wake up now. Wake up now. Um. Let's get. A, we we can only do that, you know what I mean. We can only have a look to see what we can do with players. Anyway, guys, the next match is coming up in a couple of days. If anything else interesting comes along, I shall show you. But until then, see you in a minute. Well, it's match day today, guys, and I tell you something. In that last, oh, them two guys just turned out to me an absolute bag of shite. Now, if that's the best that I can do, then we're going to be in trouble for you know finding players to buy. Maybe if we get promoted next season, then uh, we can do something about it. If we don't get promoted, then yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. We'll we'll, we'll take each day as it comes, and uh, it may be the fact that I may just hang up my boots at Grimsby Borough and uh, and move on elsewhere. However. We do have a match to get through today, and that is against Skelmersdale. Or someone like that, someone like that. Uh, so let's go to our squad here. And in fact, for this 
for this match I'm gonna let my assistant manager Bob Bob now then Bob I'm gonna let him choose the squad Massach is in Robinson Rubois first time is he's been in for a while Helio Andre up front Charlie Allen Charlie Allen Philip Welsh hmm an interesting choice that Liskov's on the bench as well even though I gave them um, that day off it's still looking a bit shaky we need the thing is we definitely oh no he's fucked he's proper fucked um, Craig Matthews there why not let's stick him in uh, instead of McFall Click Sean Thompson there Liskov just push him up just a little bit uh, we've got three defenders all there what's this here needs a rest Dan Spence uh, I think it might be a good idea to maybe bring him out for McGinn three defenders one striker that's, that's never gonna work is it really we want to uh, we want a, a midfielder in there Joseph Boaki a bit of a loss this is re a real loss losing Jack Lamp and, and Stephen Lozano Calderon as well uh, so annoying, but it looks like we're going to have Charlie Allen back for hopefully the whole of this match. So let's get on with it. Submit the team, and fingers crossed we can do a better job of the of this one than we did the last. You know they've got very poor morale. We've got okay morale. We've got fairly good to good morale, uh, and here we are, Skelmersdale. We're at home for this one, and Welsh has taken the free kick. Whips it straight over the top into the old woman in the crowd she has just been getting a pummel in season after season I'm surprised she's even got arms left or, or anything like that. Welsh whips the ball in oh and they just managed to header it away there Dominic Ayoffa passes the ball to Roubois with his big nose and seen him for a while but uh, he's not known for his crossing of the ball and that's just gone straight out for, uh, for a goal kick so let's uh, actually change this again to work the ball into the box and it seems like Skelmersdale have got a chance but Martin good good work in defence there to to get the ball back Andre, Helio Andre still yet to impress this season, good ball to Welsh great ball to Welsh but uh, Langley there with a good save the the ball was pr practically struck straight at Langley there in goal and all he had to do was just palm it away and unluckily for Charlie Allen he just didn't get there as, as quick uh, is it going to drop for Newell? Yes, it is, but we've lost the ball again. Roubois with his big nose. Newell. Masacci. Alberto Masacci. Gets a game every now and then, does Masacci. Saying he is my best my best right back. Good ball to Andre, that. Not a bad ball. Just missing that control. And suddenly now Skelmersdale are on the counter attack. Normington on the right hand side. And Andrew Martin. Oh, great, great tackle there by Newell. He just needs to look up a little bit. Oh. Martin just couldn't take it into his stride he needed to look up sooner than that and possibly even give it to Charlie Allen uh, as Charlie Allen does you know, like to run at the defence tries a ball in there Charlie Allen but it wasn't a very good one good ball into Welsh it looked to me as if he was offside and that was given given to Welsh by the defence there Watson nah, never going to score from that kind of angle and in fact what I think I'm going to do is something that I don't think that we've been doing for a while and that's to exploit the flanks rather than the middle it doesn't seem that like the middle is the option really uh, Wallace bad ball there but uh, they just managed to keep it keep possession William Skelmersdale coming on the attack here uh, Yeo good ball to Wallace it's in the back of the net but it won't count it is uh, that must have been really close Scott Wallace offside it must have been real real close but again, a scare for Goomsby Borough and just something's not right at the moment that's sitting with the team. Don't know what it is, but we've got to figure it out. We've got to figure it out soon. And you will good ball down to Allen. Um, what's out? Oh, come on, Allen. Good ball to Andre. Watson. Newell. Again, they're still trying to get through the middle there, even though I've got the exploit, the flanks on. Helio Andre with a shot, and that is miles wide. It's poor performance so far, and it's coming up half time. Welsh free kick in. Langley managed to get a touch to it, but it is in. Um, it didn't look like to to have very much power on that whatsoever, but it's still managed to end up in the back of the net. Langley has done so well in goal so far. Um, is you know has let that one go through his grasp there. 
put it into the back of his own net. I'm not quite sure what he's doing there, but still. It is coming steaming up towards half time there. And if you if you heard that bird going off in the background, I'm sorry that is my phone. Um Okay, okay. Right. I've done that. Let's see what's going on with the squad. Well, Ashley Watson looking motivated apparently, but it is on a, a pretty low half time rating. I think I'm just gonna leave him in there for a little bit. Charlie Allen hasn't looked to get into the game uh, at all, and his condition is just dropping. Uh, I can't really do much about it. Maybe uh, Helio Andre and for Sean Thompson, Joseph Boaki for Charlie Allen. Nah, hang on, hang on, no, no, no. let's undo them both. Let's uh, put Helio Andre for Charlie Allen there, then bring Charlie Allen off for Sean Thompson, Joseph Boaki on for Ashley Watson. You might be motivated, fella, but it's just not doing much so far. Let's start the second half. A couple of couple of changes being made. We won nil up, which is a good thing. However, we 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 need to get a little bit more on the ball than what we are at the minute. Alberto Masacci now, just passing it along the back between them both. Uh, Masacci to Welsh, ball to Bouakia, Thompson, and they really are pressing me quite hard. Masacci there. It's not a time to be dilly dallying on the ball. Uh, Skelmersdale seem to be on my ass crack. Sean Thompson shot, and that is wide again. He must have had about 10, 15 shots in the last two matches, and not fucking got one on target at all. Back of shit. And these guys are the best that I can get, apparently. So we're pretty much stuck. Yayo. Yayo! Yayo! Williams just takes it past Newell like it was just. Too easy. Nolan Murphy with a shot. Noble saves it quite nicely there. 65th minute. Nolan. Martin. Dominic Ayoffa back to Martin again. Nolan in the centre. Look how how high and how hard that they're pressing my players here. Helio Andre. Good ball to Boakia. Uh, finds Newell. Thompson. Good bit of ping pong passing here. Good shot there. Langley serves it. Just gobbles it up. Just gobbles it up. Good ping pong passing, that's what I like to see. The ball out there from Langley is a strange one because we've got the ball back in towards Thompson, just couldn't get there in time. It falls for Boaki, I don't know why he passed it back to Masachi, but still, good ball in. That's all it's needed. Nolan, Newell. Welsh checks it past the goalkeeper, he scored, but it won't stand. He is offside. It didn't look offside to me. It looked as if the other guy was offside, not Welsh. But you have to love a look in the replay for that, if it even shows a replay. I don't think it will, because it wasn't a goal. Technically. 74th minute now, no, no replay. 80th minute, we're into the last 10 minutes, and it looks as if Skelmersdale are coming on the attack here. Joseph Boaki is just absolutely... Um, took him out there. And a free kick in a very, very dangerous area, with 8 minutes left to go. Welsh, it's all men behind the ball here, and uh, Sosieo there actually, just uh, getting a foul in, and Goomsby Borough can breathe just a slight, uh, sigh of relief, a sigh of relief there. Noble, oh, if only if, if only he'd looked down that left hand side, but Thompson's going to run on to the end of this. Is he going to get to it? Yes, he does, and it's two nil. A ball all the way from Noble, a bad mistake from Skelmersdale's defence, and Thompson was on that, and the first shot he's had on target for two matches. Is in the back of the net. Really, I would have thought he'd have done better than that, but he's just lost the ball to Thompson. And um, good play by Thompson, not giving up on that ball. And it seems like these last five minutes will be a lot less of a stressful. Oh no, we've lost Tommy Newell to injury. Looks like Liskov's going to have to come in in uh, advanced playmaker permission, uh, position for these last couple of minutes. It's not really going to make much difference. Three minutes added time. Thompson. Martin getting on the ball. Nolan. Liskov. In unfamiliar territory. Nolan. Boaki. Still Boaki. Boaki goes for the shot. The outswinger. Always going wide. Surely that is going to be pretty much it now. Yep, that is it. It's all over. Grimsby Burrard and two. Scale must stay on nil. And, um,. Not bad, not bad at all. Andrew Martin had a good game at left back. 
Tommy Newell's now injured, which is a pain in the ass. Philip Welsh got man of the match. So let's leave and see what happens to the table there. See if Oldenborough have messed up. It seems that Oldenborough have actually messed up. They've got a bad result against Fylde, or Filled, whatever you want to call them. And it's back on. The title race is back on. Look at how close it is in goal difference as well to what's going on. This really is going to be pretty much uh, a run towards the end of the season here. The next game, I think, is on... It can't be then, surely. No, it's me under 18. So the next game there is Wednesday the 19th. So a few, you know, a few match break between there and then. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me for today's, uh, today's match. Today is Saturday, so make sure that if you want to get your... Get your suggestions known for the next game that you put them in the comments section and I'll try my best to uh, to at least try to put some of these players in. It all really depends on fitness and um, and just exactly which, you know, what position you're asking somebody to play in, whether or not it makes any sense. But anyway, guys, I have been a tough man. Thanks for your support in this series. It's been going for nigh on 50 episodes now, which is great stuff. Until next time, stay safe.